comment please from the heart you Father Antonio Agnes. Today is Friday of the 15th week of ordinary time. First read in Exodus chapter 11 verses 10 to chapter 12 verse 14. Gospel reading Matthew chapter 12 verses 1 to 8. Friends, today we are already in chapter 11 of Exodus. We had read from chapter 3 yesterday. Some 8 chapters have been backed up. We have been fast forwarded to the events of today. And today, for the first time we hear Moses mentioned and Aaron mentioned. It was Moses' mission. It was Moses that God had sent to Israelites. But then Aaron is now being mentioned alongside Moses. This is a lesson for life. Moses cannot do it all. Moses cannot do it all. Do you find yourself to be a Moses, to be in charge of a program, a place, an event, whatever? How do you feel? Do you feel you can do everything by yourself? Remember these words, Moses cannot do it all. We prayed for those of us who find ourselves sometimes we play Moses' roles. Always, always know your limitations, your weaknesses, and ask God for strength, for helpers, for Aaron's. And when the Aaron's are brought to you, or when Aaron's come to help you, don't see them as being in competition with you. You see, Moses told God, God, I cannot speak well. You know that from my childhood. So how can I go and stand before the Pharaoh and say all these things? We say that Moses could not speak because probably he was a stammerer. He stammered. And so God said, I have a solution for your problem, Moses. I'll give you an Aaron who was a better spokesperson, a better mouthpiece. And so Aaron was given to Moses as his spokesperson, his mouthpiece. They'll be working together for the rest of his life. We pray for those of us also who will be chosen. If you are chosen as an Aaron to a Moses, know your role. You are an Aaron. Don't take over the role of Moses. Above all, we pray that we shall know when we are called to be Moses, when we are called to be Aaron's. Not the two. We play one at a time. But all for the greater glory of God. There's always a Moses and Aaron to achieve success in life. May God help us to collaborate with others and for others when we have become a Moses or when we become an Aaron. So friends, today God tells them, Moses and Aaron, to tell the AG Israelites what to do as they prepare for this last plague. God had already sent nine plagues, nine sufferings upon the Egyptians, but then the Pharaoh says he will not let them go to leave the land. So this is the last of the sufferings, the plagues that God is sending their firstborns will be dead. And this is how it's going to happen. They are supposed to get this lamb, eat together, and then eat in, as if they are in a hurry, in flight, and then they leave the land. And then that night, after putting the blood on their doorposts, God will pass over. The angel of death will pass over. And then they will be safe. The Passover comes from this background. But the worst lamb, the worst body, blood, Reminds us of also our own Christian Passover, the Holy Mass. And every Mass, there is a lamb that is sacrificed, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. You see, the lamb was supposed to be without blemish. And Jesus, the lamb without sin, the man, the one who came down as us, but without sin, is the one who sacrificed himself for us. And then we are told to eat his body and drink his blood to have life. And whenever we partake of, ma of the Mass, I mean, we see the body and blood of Christ, what happens to us? We pass on. We are also having a Passover. We pass over from death into life. Death to sin and life with Christ. We pray that the next time we go to Mass, we sit at Mass, this image will come to us vividly, that God is transforming us, passing us over, from weaknesses to strength, from saints to saints. In the gospel reading, Jesus, friends, tells us the rule of life, love. It comes always before the law. Sometimes it's difficult to find the, the middle point. 
But know that the human person will become comes before the law. Again, we pray that we will treat men and women, human beings, with love, with respect. And that is why in the college they say the 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 good of the man, the good of, of the soul, is the supreme law of the church. Whatever is being done, the human person must be considered. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for, for having time for us, for giving us this day. We pray that when you call us to be Moses or to be Aaron or others, may you give us the strength we need, the graces we need. We also pray, Father, for the eyes and the grace to always put before or else love of the human person. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ.